What's going on everybody? Welcome back. We're just here at a river that's pretty close to home, around about five kilometers from home. It's one of the closest bodies of water to home, but I haven't fished here a lot. I've only fished here maybe three times, I think I've come down for a quick cast. Got a little brown trout, uh, maybe on the second time I came down here. But I came down here on the weekend and uh, had a big follow, and I reckon that, that brownie was maybe 60 centimeters, something like that. So uh, I had my ultralight gear at the time. I've got some, uh, you know, slightly heavier stuff. Got the elf aging. Going to be throwing some bigger lures, and uh, got a little bit of time to spare. So hopefully we can get into a big one. So wish me luck. well the GoPro picks this up but man that water is so clear you can see just about every spot a trout would want to hide but uh haven't spotted one all right this big pool here that's where I got the follow a few days ago saw a big splash just down here and thought what was that a duck or is that a fish surely not and then a few casts later had one follow it right up to the bank and uh yeah couldn't connect so hopefully throwing some bigger lures might uh might tempt it oh yeah snap. oh my god that was a definite bite oh is it following is it following holy crap that caught me by surprise oh my goodness that caught me by surprise big time. That was a good bite. Oh my goodness. The heart's still racing. Yeah, that's what he hit the Daiwa double clutch uh, in the suspending. I think that might be a 65 mil deep diving. Might just uh, change lures and see what happens. Okay, so I believe this is a 95 mil Presso Minnow this around trout fishing is all pretty new to me apart from you know some stocked rainbows or something like that but these you know, land-based browns out here yeah it's all a bit of a new game to me man it swims awesome this thing we just snakes around really nice oh man did you hear that did you hear that that was no duck where was that it's at the same spot as on the weekend I'm willing to go to get back an expensive lure. I'm just dangling on the side of this. Try and snag it. Come on. Just switch to a four inch grub on a net head. Not for any particular reason with the net head, but um, it's just the, the best sort of hook and weight profile I had for this lure. Got a bit of S factor scent on there too. Oh yeah, that was a bite, that was a bite, that was a bite. 100%. Yep, yep, getting nibbled, getting nibbled. Definitely a bite. The bite was right about, I guess, halfway between us and the log, somewhere in there. Just about where that cast landed. 
All right, we've gone something a little bit heavier. We've gone for a quarter ounce jig head. Yeah, it sounds pretty heavy. It might be a sixth, actually. I think it's a sixth. It's, um, that last one we had on was about an eighth ounce. And it was quite a big, buoyant plastic. And I don't think it was just getting down to where I wanted it to. Right there. Boom. 100% that is a brown trout. Oh, there's a white. Oh, white's followed it. There it is. There it is. Oh yeah, there we go. We're on, we're on. Yes! Come on, where are we gonna land it? There it is, yes. There he is. Got this net. Oh. Come on, son. Yes! Yes, 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 yes! I'm so pumped. Yes! Alright, we've taken enough happy snaps let's see him go he looks like he's pretty energized so we got that lure snagged up on the net come on buddy Look at those beautiful spots come on buddy off you go yes you little legend you little legend awesome man that was so awesome i didn't expect to get one here um well even though i saw one the other day i wasn't really you know, expecting to get one would just be a bonus if I got one. Got a few bites early, few lure, few lure changes. Just try to get, you know, the right sink rate, the right action, everything like that. And it seemed like the uh, 75 mil uh, suspending deep die with double clutch in the pink that did the that did the business. Um, got a hit on that one early, made a few changes, um, then thought, yeah, shit. <laughs> We'll have to edit that out. I thought, well, yeah, that, that lure is probably the right one for this situation in terms of the color um, and how deep it dives and the profile and everything like that. Switch back to it. And I think it was the first cast, if not the second cast, where I got a hit and a, did we get a hookup on that one? Yeah, we'll have to have a look at the video, but um, yeah, pretty much we're on a pretty steep bank here. It's uh, it maybe on, um, I don't know, five meters above the water level there. So it was always dicey. If I got a, a nice one, especially the 60 centimeter one that I saw last week, if I got that, you know, it's gonna be pretty tricky to land that guy. Um, this guy was only around four, low 40s, I'd say. Good, healthy, thick fish, but um, definitely not 60 centimeters. But yeah, we're able to, to get down this bank here, drop down there, get to the water's edge, scoop it up with a net take a couple of snaps and uh, give it a little rest and let it go and it swum off beautifully and super excited about that um, yeah I'd say you know this is not not exciting for a lot of people um, you know probably a lot of you guys have caught tons of brown trout that size and bigger but for me um, this is one of my most memorable catches I caught a lot of browns and rainbows as a kid you know trawling in the boat with my dad but um you know never land based you know go to a river throw some lures that type of thing maybe some you know land based on uh on worms back in the day when i was a kid but never as an adult you know figuring it out for yourself buying all the gear doing the research 
um, and getting out here and, and putting in the time and um, and getting a result. So yeah, it's really satisfying. That's what I love about what I love about fishing. And I think I'm going to be coming to this spot a lot uh, over this uh, autumn winter period. Um, just sort of explore as much of it as I can, familiarize myself with you know bite windows where the where the fish like to hang out what lures they like which lures they don't like that type of thing and maybe even get the kayak here i mean i can launch the the cars probably i don't know half a kilometer around the corner something like that i could potentially put the kayak in there uh drift down to this section here i'd have to get out and, and maybe drag it i think it might be okay to do that and if so then we can you know explore this area because obviously you know, this continues around the corner there and it's it's a steep bank like this here so it's not really accessible um, land based so um, yeah and also when I was uh, had the fish in the net right around where I saw that splash before there was another one so there's obviously more fish in here uh, so that's that's really exciting and uh, got me wanting to come back again all right, let's see, to be continued.